Dear students, in this module, I am going to elaborate on aligning insertions and deletions in the protein or DNA sequences. Before I get into the detail of each, let me remind you that if you have, let's say, two protein sequences that you are trying to compare by aligning them and sliding them across each other, then there are three sources of variation. The first source is that an amino acid is inserted into a sequence or an amino acid has been deleted from one of the sequences and three an amino acid in one of the sequences is different from the other due to mutation so we'll be focusing on the first two that is insertion and deletion for mutation we'll consider in the later modules so towards insertion it is the addition of an amino acid in one of the proteins that you are trying to compare. Similarly, if you are trying to compare DNA or RNA sequences, it can be an addition of a nucleotide. In case of deletion, it is simply that if you are trying to compare these two sequences, one of the amino acid has been deleted. So this is true for the proteins. For nucleotides, for the DNA and RNA, a nucleotide may be missing. So let's take an example. So first, to align insertions, you have to insert gaps. So this is a very important term because gaps are necessary to accommodate the difference that has occurred after the insertion of a new nucleotide or amino acid in one of the sequences. So the counterpart nucleotide or amino acid is a gap. So let's say if this is your sequence and it is matching very nicely with another sequence except on this position, then what you do is you insert a gap here. So this is what is called a gap and is represented by a dot. Okay, so while aligning ins insertions, what you do is you insert gaps in the template at positions where the nucleotides or amino acids are inserted in the target. So let's take an, a look at the definition of template and target. So, here I have two sequences for you, two nucleotide sequences as you can see. So I have called them 1 and 2 to keep it simple. So 1 is target and 2 is template. Okay, so sequence 1 and sequence 2 are to be compared. So if you look carefully, then you can see that the two sequences can be divided into these two portions where A and C matches very nicely while the other two they match very nicely as well. However, there is a nucleotide in the middle T which is not matching the template. So this is actually inserted into the target. So this is what we call insertions. So to manage them in the alignment, what we have done is we have inserted a gap which is represented by this dot here. And now if you look at the template and the target, they are aligned very nicely for the matching portions while for the portion which is not matching, it has a dot or a gap. Next, aligning deletions. So just like insertions, you need to handle deletions as well. An amino acid may be inserted or an amino acid may be deleted from a protein during the process of evolution. So to handle that, what we do is we insert the gaps in the targets where some amino acids or nucleotides are deleted from the template. So let's take a look here at the example. 
So we have again two sequences given here, one and two. So one is the template here, this one, and two is the target. So if you again examine the sequences, you will find out that they match just like the previous example. They match very nicely for these nucleotides, but we have this other nucleotide C that does not exist in the target. So how do we manage this? We simply insert a gap here in the target. So in this way, we can handle insertions and deletions while comparing two sequences. So in conclusion, the alignment of insertions and deletions can be handled by insertion of a gap within the target or the template depending upon the insertion or deletion. And such a negative uh, event needs to be handled with a penalty because the two sequences are different now as a result of insertion or deletion. We need to give it a negative score and this is typically called a penalty.